Welcome back, Pipers. Hopton Piper Kevin here, coming to you from the heartland of America in Missouri. Today, we're gonna to talk about the top 12 deep cellar tobaccos of Pipers. Now, obviously I wasn't able to poll every Piper in the world, but I was able to ask the question to this community, what is the name of the pipe tobacco that you own the most of that is still in production today? and I received many, 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 many responses. I have compiled those results, and I have come up with a list of 12, 12 that definitely were named more than all the others, and I have ranked them based on the number of responses that named that blend. So I'm excited to share this with you today. I think you're gonna find it really interesting. Maybe some of these are on your favorites list. And again, this isn't necessarily the top favorites of Pipers, but it is representative of some of the blends that people are making sure that they have on hand in their cellar for years to come. So let's get started. Remember, these are not my top 12 cellar tobaccos. This was the responses of the community, but my number one cellar tobacco is on this list. And I'll tell you what that is when we get there. So let's start with number 12. And number 12 is Prince Albert. Now Prince Albert is a codger blend, burley based. These little boxes are no longer made to my knowledge. And this is the last sleeve of six that I have left. And I'll be saving this and probably smoking Prince Albert out of the tubs that are still being made. Prince Albert is a blend that has a really nice cocoa tin note to me, has some good hazelnut coffee qualities to it in the nuances of the flavor. So I have done a pipe tobacco review on this one. I'll tell you if I've done reviews on these and the Prince Albert review that I did is one of my most popular videos. So check that out when you have time. Prince Albert is number 12. Number 11. Number 11 is a very savory blend. It is Dark Fired Burley and Virginia's. McBaron HH Old Dark Fired. This is a very tasty blend and I can see why so many people love it. It, it gives me, and I haven't reviewed this one yet, so I don't want to say too much, but it does give me some of that smoked meats type of experience that's really pleasant in a blend. So HH Old Dark Fired is number 11. Number 10. Number 10 is an English blend. It is compared a lot to Penzance. And that is GLP's Quiet Nights. Maybe someday down the road we'll have to do a comparison video for Penzance versus Quiet Nights. I know those have been done before, but I always like to share my own thoughts, so um, I may have to do that. But Quiet Nights, English blend, a lot of people love it, a lot of people have it deep cellared. Number nine. Number nine is a vapor that I am all out of. As you can see by the empty tin, the empty jar, but that is Escudo. Oh, Escudo is loved by many, many around the world. And I have smoked my fair share of it, but only fresh. And I know that those that are really big fans of Escudo, they rave about aged Escudo, Escudo that's been you know, aged for several years before you smoke it. So before I dive too deep into my thoughts on Escudo, I do need to find some some aged Escudo to trade for or purchase somewhere because when I spend a lot of time with that one, I think I owe it to the blend to, to smoke that one with some age on it. So I'll be looking to pick some of that up in the future. 
but a Scudo, a wonderful blend, is number nine. So as we continue going up this list, uh, I really want to encourage you to try these blends, all 12 of these, because as a part of your pipe journey, one of the most fun parts is the discovery phase where you're just, you're trying different things and figuring out what you might like. And I can get behind every one of these 12. So would love for you to be able to experience these as you have time along your pipe journey. We move on to number eight. Number eight comes in a couple of very popular varieties, regular, aromatic. I have an aromatic pouch here, and that is Sir Walter Raleigh. I was really impressed with Sir Walter Raleigh when I spent time with it. I was impressed with the cut. I was impressed with the spiciness that it provides. And whether you go with the regular or the aromatic, you can't go wrong. Sir Walter Raleigh is a great blend to have on hand. It's got this sweet cocoa tin note. It's got that woody spice, that walnut character. It's a codger blend you need to, to experience. And I have done a tobacco review on Sir Walter Raleigh. So you can find all these reviews in the pipe tobacco review playlist. All right, moving on to number seven. Number seven. Cornell and Deals, Haunted Bookshop. Had a lot of fun doing this review and a lot of people enjoyed it. Haunted Bookshop, Burley Base, Red Virginia's, uh, some Perique. It's got a cocoa raisin bread type of aroma. It's got mustiness and peppercorn. Oh, people smoke this by the pound. Haunted Bookshop, that's a good one. To try. Okay, those were our first six, or let's move on up the scale now in number of responses to number six. And number six brings us to an aromatic and brings us to an aromatic that has cherry. You know what it is? It has cocoa, it has vanilla. Another review that I enjoyed doing, and that was cult blood red moon for any of you out there that enjoys a aromatic tobacco with cherry flavor this is as premium as i've found when it comes to that type of blend so i highly recommend cult blood red moon okay number five is the tobacco blend that i own the most of this blend has been a favorite of mine since the moment that I smoked it. And not all blends are like that. Some blends you have to spend some time with before you fall in love with them, and others you fall out of love out of, you know, over time. You, you find others that you enjoy more, but this blend has been in my top list forever, ever since I started smoking. And it has a light citrusy quality to it. There is debate as to whether or not it has perique, but it does have a nice little peppercorn retro hail, mild, but, but it's there for me. And the golden hay fields, the, the Arnold Palmer tea, where it's, it's like half tea, half lemonade, reminiscent of that type of experience. Just a phenomenal flake. My friend, or what golden sliced. I have more of this than anything in my small cellar and I need to find some of this age as well. I've I've got one square tin. You know they used to come in square tins. I've got one square tin that I'm about to open next. Uh, beyond that I've got all these little round tins. But or what golden sliced is a just a wonderful blend to me. All right, we move on to our top 4, the final 4. Number four, perhaps the king of all codgers. I, I have come to find out in my experiences here in this community that this blend is beloved by so many. And again, one of my more popular reviews, and that is Carter Hall. Carter Hall, burley-based codger blend, some Virginia Flake, some flavoring added. 
Um, it's got a sweet and sour cocoa tin note to me. It's it's a light, mild, sweet, nutty experience. Um, it does have that high-end tangy alcohol note that that many love. So, Carter Hall, number four. Number three is a blend that many start their day with. It is a mild English blend, formerly done Hill, now Peterson. And I'm going to save my thoughts on this one because I've not reviewed it yet. But that is Early Morning Pipe. Check this one out if you haven't already. The top two. This particular blend, it's a full meal burst of flavors for me. It's It's got a smoky date quality to it. It's got some sun-dried tomato reminiscent vibes going on. Um, it's a little peppery. It's a little leathery. It comes in four different varieties. You can get the original. You can get a special reserve. You can get a special reserve flake. And it also comes in a bourbon barrel aged. So the bourbon barrel aged is kind of a beast of its own, but plum pudding is super popular, it's super good, and if you can handle Lataki at all, you need to try Seattle Pipe Club's Plum Pudding. And you really can't go wrong with any of the varieties that you might choose to purchase. Um, I talk about the differences a little bit in the review that I did of the flake, so. Plum pudding is one that you should try if you haven't already. So what do you think is number one? What was listed the most by pipers in this community as them having the most of on hand that is still in production today? Some people like to smoke this just as it is. Some people use this as a blending component and they will blend it with other things to make their own custom blends that they enjoy using this. It's a vanilla aromatic. It is very light with some honey and caramel notes to me. A very mild and easy smoke. Light and wispy, I called it in the review. And that is Lane Limited 1Q. I hope you enjoyed listening to this list, I think it's a great list. <laughs> I think it, it represents a lot of what there is to experience in pipe smoking. So check these blends out. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season so far. And until we talk again, go enjoy some good food, good drink, and a good pipe.